Hey, it's Tony, Talking Car Biz. Today, we've got a brand new 2021 Toyota Tundra Crew Max. This is your uh, SR5 edition. And then this one does have the upgrade package and it is a two wheel drive. So in today's video, we're gonna walk around the exterior, take a look at it. And then later in the video, we'll dive inside and check out the interior. Let's get started. Okay, so up front on the SR5 edition, it does come with some chrome accents. So you've got a chrome upper grille. This is a kind of a faux hood scoop. It doesn't actually open into the engine. Chrome down on the lower, and then notice the end caps on the bumpers are also chrome. Now the SR5 is the entry level in the Tundra, but it still is a nice looking truck. It's not basic, if you will. We've got a gunmetal gray painted grille huge Toyota badging right here in the center then behind there is where we find the sensors for our dynamic radar cruise control I mentioned the chrome bumper down here but then we also have this matte black finish this is your ABS plastic so it's scratch and dent resistant and then as we look down underneath we do have some tow hooks and there's also a skid plate down under there as well The headlights on here, crystal clear lenses. We do have LED daytime running lamps. We also have fog lights wrapped by those chrome bumper end caps. As we swing around to the side, our wheel and tire package, looking at an 18 inch steel wheel, front ventilated disc brakes, of course anti-lock brakes on here as well. And then the tires, these are a Michelin tire. They're a 235 70 R18 so they have a nice wide sidewall that's going to give you a smoother ride and the all-season tire is going to give you good traction in normal everyday driving. We do have factory mud guards, Tundra badging, the Tundra badging is going to be chrome, V8 badging in chrome as well. Outside mirrors, matte black finish, collapsible, breakaway, they also have heating elements in here so if you uh, need to get the ice and snow off there you can get them that off of there they're also nice large mirrors which are going to come in handy for trailer towing situations matte black finish on your door handles your b pillar privacy glass on your back doors and the crew max just has a huge back door on it we'll dive inside in a little while and i'll show you what that looks like inside sr5 badging in chrome privacy glass on your back doors and your back window cargo light up top shark fin antenna up top and then this back window has rear window defrost and it also folds down over the bed protection here and then we do have the rear mud guards as well now the wheelbase on this is going to be 145 inches so a nice smooth ride overall length a little less than 229 inches so this is really a great uh, trailer puller that's for sure as we swing around to the back the color on this one by the way is magnetic gray clear coat metallic take a look at our tailgate Toyota stamped into the handle it is a locking tailgate and that comes in handy when you put a tonneau cover on there to keep your items secure inside backup cameras right underneath the uh, here by the handle and then the tundra is stamped into the bed itself they do offer an applique so if you wanted to black that out or make that chrome something that can be done here at the dealership now our towing uh, bumper and package a uh, nice step bumper with uh, lights here on the sides we do have uh, the pre-wired there's your four pin and your seven pin and it does have trailer brakes set up front as well and then here's our receiver hitch so once you plug this in the tow capacity on here is going to be uh, 10,100 pounds and we do have a full-size spare tire up underneath there which is the same as the one that's on the ground here's a look at our rear suspension so a solid rear axle 
with leaf spring. Let's go ahead and uh, drop that tailgate and take a look at it and the bed. So the tailgate is a slow release, easy down. It's also removable. This one does have the factory bed liner uh, included. That is an extra charge and uh, it's embossed with Tundra, of course. Uh, and the, if you get it from the factory with the bed liner, then it's covered under the factory warranty as well. We've got toe do uh, tie down hooks here on the sides. Drain plugs up front there as well. So it's a nice five and a half foot bed when you go with the Crew Max. Now I did hear that the 2022, the all new version is going to have a Crew Max eight foot bed. So that'll be interesting. 2022 is an all new design and will be out later this year. Also 2022 is not gonna have a V8. So this is the last year for the V8 on the Tundra. So if you want a V8, I strongly recommend taking action now in order to get it the way you want it. Again, that back window does slide down, so that's kind of a great feature. And you can get a lock, you can get a tonneau cover on there as well. Let's go ahead and uh, walk up front here. We'll pop the hood and uh, check out the engine. So under the hood on the 2021, only one engine's available. This is the uh, 5.7 liter V8 gasoline engine. Again, this is going to be the last year for this engine. So if you want a V8, get one now. Uh, the engine's connected to a six speed automatic transmission with a 430 uh, rear axle. Um, 381 horsepower out of this engine, 401 foot pounds of torque, allows you to tow up to uh, 10,100 pounds with the heavy-duty battery, oversized radiator, trailer towing package. This thing is ready to pull right away. Now the engine and the transmission, they have a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. So a real nice warranty. And then every Toyota does come with Toyota Care. So they're going to cover your oil changes, uh, your fluid top-offs, and your tire rotations. Toyota covers that for uh, two years, 25,000 miles, no extra charge to you. And then the vehicle itself, it's gonna have a three year, 36,000 mile limited warranty and that's covers against manufacturer defect and such. Let's see if we can get a nice quick look at the uh, front side suspension here. See if I can slide my camera under there. So there's your coilover spring struts. Take a look at how thick this stabilizer bar is up front. That's going to help give you a nice, firm, stiff ride and a lot of great control on this truck. When you're pulling a camper behind you, you want as much heavy duty as you possibly can get. And the Tundra is going to go ahead and offer that. So let's go ahead and uh, dive inside and check out the interior of the 2021 upgrade. Oh, before I did that, do that, I want to mention that the upgrade package does upgrade the fuel tank. That's up to 38-gallon fuel tank. And then the Tundra's fuel economy is uh, 15 miles per gallon combined city highway, up to 17 on the highway. So not great gas mileage for sure, but um, overall a really great truck. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump inside. Okay, let's go ahead and jump up front. Take a look at the uh, driver's door. So we do have power windows all the way down. However, the driver's window is the only auto up and down window. We do have power door locks, power door lock, our window locks. We've got a silver door handle with silver trim running down this, the uh, armrest there. This is all vinyl. Down below, there's uh, dual bottle holders down here and pockets for your stuff. There is a speaker here on the door as well. And then this one does have the premium, SR5 premium or upgrade package, I should say. So we've got uh, Tundra embossed in the threshold here. And then normally a Tundra comes with, the SR5 comes with a bench seat. 
but the upgrade package converts that to bucket seats as you see here and so these are cloth bucket seats they really are very comfortable height adjustable headrest and height adjustable uh, seat belts also side airbags down here so they move in back back and forth with the seat the upgrade package has the power seat with a power recliner and power lumbar support driver side only so the passenger seat is going to be a manual adjustment and no lumbar support over on the uh, dashboard here across the front of the tundra there are four of these omnidirectional vents so you can uh, position or the airflow whatever direction you prefer down low we've got power mirror controls this is our dome light controls so our overhead lighting this switch right here what that does is it levels out your headlights so if you have a trailer on the back normally it's going to push the back of the truck down and cause the headlights to point up and this allows you to level out those headlights based upon the load weight this is our cargo light on and off automatic high beams and our power window switch for the back window so this controls the cargo and this controls the power back window and I'll show you here the cargo light up top and then this window right here that powers up and down which makes it pretty unique in the full-size pickup category you're gonna love that feature and then of course we do have a tilt and telescoping uh, steering wheel let's go ahead and jump inside stop <sighs> go so the SR5 edition does have your traditional uh, keyless entry with the key that you've got to slide in the ignition the uh, steering wheel on the SR5 is a vinyl steering wheel, padded, a little bit thicker, so it's comfortable to hold on to. On this side, we've got uh, controls for our sound system, uh, voice activation, smartphone, Bluetooth connectivity, driver's side airbag. This controls the information center up here in the gauge cluster, so we'll go through that in just a moment. And then down here, we've got our on-off switch for our dynamic radar cruise control lane departure on and off and then toyota's traditional cruise controls are down here up here are our wiper controls and we do have intermittent wipers up front and then over on this side is where we find our headlight controls our fog light controls and we do have auto on and off for our headlights as well so auto high beams and auto on and off for the headlights let's go ahead and uh, start it up so we don't have push button, we have our traditional key. There we go. So on the left, we've got our tack, our temperature gauge, our oil pressure gauge, then we've got our voltmeter and our uh, gas gauge, and then our speedometer over on this side with the trip meter there as well and then right down the middle is the information center so outside temperature we've got a digital speedometer our range and our odometer readings right there and then you can toggle through some of the settings right here using your thumb and so if we go and move to the right here's our sound system settings at the very end we've got our personalization for our lane departure our pre-collision any of our other vehicle settings we want to set up there for trailer towing and such so all that information is controlled right here on the fingertips for the uh, for the drivers controls head over and take a look at the uh, center stack again two more of these omnidirectional vents we've got a landing pad up here just to throw your odds and ends it is not wireless charging for your phone and then here's our our sound system Go ahead and move that to the home take a look at our our opportunities for sound so audio we've got am fm and cirrus satellite radio and you get the premium subscription for the cirrus satellite you you get three months free at no charge after that it is a subscription service um, as far as mapping goes 
This does not have navigation on here. There's an app for that, of course. You can download to your smartphone if you'd like. As we head down the center section here, we do have our hazards, air conditioning, front window defrost. Our heating and air conditioning is your traditional um, set it and forget it, if you will, um, arrangement. And then way down below here, you'll see we've got some charging ports, 2.1 app USB. Here's our traction control on and off, and then our traditional uh, cigarette lighter style uh, power outlet down there as well. There's a cup holder and again another landing pad, but this is not for wireless charging. Moving down the center console, with the upgrade package you get the center console because now it's bucket seats versus the bench seat. And then here's our transmission selector. I did want to show you the backup camera up here as well. And this backup does not have path projection, so it just shows you um, your track, if you will. And then with our transmission, there's a uh, vinyl wrap shifter with the more of that silver trim we saw over on the door handle. We saw it on the steering wheel, kind of ties it all together. And then you can also manually shift between the gears if you're looking to do that as well. And then there's a little coin holder, a couple cup holders, a little bit more storage over here for ink pens or what have you. And then way down here is where we've got our tow haul mode, our trailer brake, and our trailer brake gain. So this is all set up to tow uh, with the trailer hitch up to uh, 10,100 pounds. Take a look at our center console. Again, just a place you can drop your smartphone, not wireless charging, but a huge center console and armrest. And then underneath, a lot of storage here with another uh, power outlet right here and then on the back side of here a place for tissues ink pens and notepads things like that so kind of a pseudo uh, workstation if you will over on the passenger side we've got passenger sys grips here side curtain airbags lighted vanity mirrors the uh, Visors do slide to extend in and out. Overhead lights. Safety connect up here as well. Sunglass holder right there. And then our rear view mirror does have the compass. And we also have the Homelink garage door opener set up. So a lot of, of great comfort convenience features. This is about as base as you can get in the uh, crew cab with the um, upgrade package. Really is a nice base package, especially if you're planning to tow a camper or trailer boat or something like that. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in the back seat and check it out. Okay, diving into the back. I did want to point out just how large this back door is. It really is a huge wide opening, so plenty of room to get cargo in there. The uh, door in the back is similar to what we saw up front with the bottle holders, power switches, speaker down here, but then there's an additional speaker up here high, so really has a, a nice sound system. Even though it's not the premium sound system, I think most people will appreciate it. Now I've got the back seat folded up, and I wanted to show you just how much room there is back here for cargo. So if you don't have any folks back there and you want to load it up, Maybe you've got a dog you want to bring along. That's a great place to go ahead and set that up. The other thing I wanted to show you, well, it does come with a first aid kit as well. It's kind of a basic first aid kit, but that's kind of a nice bonus. I also wanted to show you the back seats in the way that they fold up. There's only one handle to bring the seat up, and that's this one right here, and you can just drop it down like that. So you, you can do it with one hand quite easily, depending on which hand you have available. You don't need two like you'd need in, in a Tacoma. And then these are the cloth seats just like we saw up front. We do have a uh, center armrest here with dual cup holders. Notice that seat folds separately so that's 40% and then we have 60% over here 
and there is a lot of room back here. No problem fitting three adults in the back seat of the Tundra uh, crew cab for sure. Overhead lighting up above. We do have side uh, passenger assist grips, side impact airbags, height adjustable seat belts. There is a pocket over on the back of that seat. There's none on the driver's seat. And then we do have our vents here, which we can turn on and off. And then there is a 12-volt uh, power outlet there as well. But the amount of space in the back of the Crew Max is uh, really just incredible. And as a reminder, this back window does roll down. And that does have rear window defrost, which is activated up front. And when you push the rear window defrost button, one of the things I wanted to mention was the outside mirrors are heated as well so you're going to be able to get the ice and snow off of the outside mirrors and the rear window with a push of just one button okay there you go that's the uh, 2021 Toyota Tundra SR5 Crew Max this one is the uh, two-wheel drive edition great truck for boat pulling camper pulling Tundra's very, very high quality for those of you who are familiar with the Tundra. Great resale value, by the way. Hey, if you like the video, go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. If you have questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. This is Tony here at Talking Carbiz. Thanks for watching.